Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, I just tried to go live, believe it or not, as there are two videos going on right now live that you can watch, listen to if you care to, bringing down CHOP. And I thought, well, it's about time. Now, there is, you know, the agitators, the ones they're pushing out, using not so good language, so you don't want the kids in the room if you choose to watch it. But I was just so glad to see it. There's one news channel from over there in Seattle. Uh, I forget which one. And then there's a real estate agent um, who's trying to sell real estate around there doing his own live stream. He has his own YouTube channel. Um, I'll put the links in the description box, but by the time, you know, you might see this, I don't know if it'll still be live. I don't know what'll go on all day. They keep yelling, we'll regroup, we'll be back, or we're going to make history, and someone else yells, we already made history, and, and they're just, try they're trying to push the cops' buttons to get one of them to shoot one of them, I guess. You know, but they're just trying to clear them out. Now, they're making them head north to get out of the park. As they get out, they're barricading it off so they don't get back into that park. But, I mean, Seattle's a pretty big city. I just wanted to report that CHOP is finally being pushed out of where they are and hopefully restoring order. The cops are restoring order in Seattle. They have moved back into their precinct. Now, this is a good thing, but who knows what they'll do next. I'm so happy for the people who live there. I hope that it caused many of them to start praying and that they're praising the Lord right now. That's my hope. That people will see this as, Yay, thank you, Lord, for finally answering our prayer. I mean, we don't know what all those people have gone through. We know that one man I reported on several days ago, what he managed to get from his friend out there, who then took down his Facebook account right away because he didn't want them to see that he had put that up. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say. I just wanted to give you that update. That is good news. That is an answer to prayer. I've been praying for them. I don't know if you have, but I'm saying thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. I praise you. I thank you. I worship you. I glorify your holy name. These, I was crying yesterday saying, Lord, I didn't think we'd see some of this stuff already. And just crying out to him, like, where are you? And he keeps bringing things to my mind from way back in my past, sins I committed or things I failed to do or people that hurt me. And I said, well, I probably didn't specifically say I forgave that person or forgive me, Lord, for that one thing, you know. So he's been, I mean, I didn't think we had to, but maybe for me, I needed to. I needed to know that I have been cleansed from all of that, you know. With this illness I have, that the government keeps sweeping under the rug every time someone gets some research on it that makes sense, that could give doctors a test or at least give us an ICD code. It just, they push it, that Fauci is, oh, see, that's another one. I have to keep forgiving him because now I know that he's behind it. They don't want to give this illness an ICD code and a real 
name to go by other than MECFS or chronic fatigue syndrome. And, um, okay, time up. Now, how do I make it stop? There, okay. I was going to call somebody at nine. Um, anyway, it's caused people like medics, nurses, especially ER doctors, to treat me like I'm faking. Like I, one time in Walmart, I was, my battery operated, you know, cart that you can use, it died. It just died. It kept dying and dying and finally it wouldn't start. I had to walk to a buggy, pulled it back, got my groceries into it, and was trying to get to the front entrance so I could get, see if they had another buggy. And, and it went out from under me and I fell. So they called the medics. And the first thing out of a medic's mouth, now he didn't know a thing about me, he said, needed a little attention today, huh? Like, you know, somebody would purposely fall out. And I think I had a little bit of a convulsion. But anyway, that's, I'm getting off subject. The point is, there have been people in my past like that, that I were to treated me so mean, I had to forgive. I thought I had forgiven them all, but then the Lord would just be bringing back a person here, a person there. I mean, so strange, but I know it's God, and he's helping me to say, okay, I remember that happening. I choose to forgive that person. They didn't know any better. They didn't know what they were doing, and they didn't. There are a lot of, I guess, people that do fake seizures. They fake being ill because they do need the attention. It is a mental problem. So for 11 years, I was diagnosed with a mental problem in and out of psychiatric facilities. So I wanted to just share that because, and I don't know why, there must have been a reason the Lord wanted me to share that, that he's been bringing things back into my memory I guess this is part of my purification process. Remember the dream, if you saw it. Uh, let's see, it was titled, I think it was the last one. Yeah, sharing a dream that may pertain to you, and then three prophetic dreams from Pastor Dana. Okay. And Chris was talking about how he wondered if when the Lord told him to get into the closet and then it looked like fire was coming up. Fire with bright white light intermingled. And he wondered if it was purification. He needed to go through some kind of purification. And now, here I am. I was reporting on CHOP coming down and I'm talking about this. So if memories come to your mind... If you've been seeking the Lord, trying to get closer, and then all of a sudden now you're having these little memories and you're wondering why. It might be because you need to forgive that person. You might think you did, but maybe you just need to say, I choose to forgive that person and I let it go completely. I hold nothing against them. Wow, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I could not get on live. I wanted to go live. But there's some new fangled thing you got to download. And I couldn't figure it out. So I just said, heck with it. I'll just make a video and upload it. You'll see it, when it whenever you get around to it. Okay, well...
I hope at least part of this helped somebody. I, I am praising the Lord that this issue in Seattle is finally, hopefully, coming to an end. And it doesn't escalate into something worse. I'm going to be praying, and I hope you all will be praying with me. And uh, if you watched Pastor Dana's, the video I made on the dreams, the last video I made, we know things are coming. I do believe those dreams were from the Lord. The first one has already come to pass. Now we're into the time timing of the second dream. June, July, August, September, October, November, I believe it was. Or maybe it was July, August, September. Anyway, he saw the calendar pages turning. And then when it got to November, instead of three taps, he saw a fist punch through November. And all the numbers came falling down in three dimension, three dimensional form, like blocks or, you know, like you would have see with a child's toy where three dimensional numbers and letters might fit into a puzzle form kind of thing. Like that's what I imagined letters and numbers falling like things are going to fall apart in November. So are we still going to be here? There are people getting so-called messages from God trying to say we need to prepare. We're going to be here. I don't believe it. I Well, I know we're going to escape the hour of temptation. That's Revelation 3, 10 and 11. Luke 21, 36 says, Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So, how can we escape all if we're here for a famine? If we have to stock up food for ourselves? How does that make us escape all? Is the wording changed? The, the Bible's not a lie. But wording has been changed. We know that the great falling away is not falling away from the faith. That's the departure. And then the son of perdition will be revealed. So see, today... Is July the 1st, Wednesday, July the 1st. Right now it's 9.08 a.m. And so I don't know what's going on in is Israel yet. If they've signed. Um, last thing I saw was that the Jews do not want what this proposal is speaking of. So they may be the ones holding off. Like, no, we're not signing that. So then I would say nothing's going to happen today. It isn't going to happen. But I heard on uh, Grafted In Team Jesus, I watched a part of a video last night where the Supreme Court has... Uh, ruled that Roe versus Wade stands. They there was apparently a bill up for vote which I didn't even know about that was gonna do away with Roe versus Wade. Well shoot fire if they did away with that, where would they get their live fetal tissue to be making the coronavirus? Where would they get the H E K two ninety three to put in our our uh, everything that's got a natural flavor? Anything that says natural flavorings instead of artificial flavor. Some things are saying natural and artificial flavoring. They don't mind just being right up front. You know, they got to tell. 
but nowhere where you see HEK 293 used because they take that human embryonic tissue and they clone it so that you're not really getting God made tissue in your food or drink. You're getting the cloned version. That way they can take a little and make a lot, you see. But how could they have the little if they did away with abortion? You see? Well, no way was that going to go through. Right now, Satan rules. God can override and make something be overridden if he wanted to. He could have put it in their hearts. But he's, God doesn't force anybody to do anything. So now, the judgment, there, I think they were reading a prophecy from somebody. I, I could try to link it. It's gonna it's got several news articles. You could watch it if you want. I tell you that's a channel to get plugged into. I agree with ninety nine percent of what they say. I'm sure you don't agree with me a hundred percent. So that it doesn't take any but a second to type in brighteon.com get make an account it's as easy it's just putting in your email address making a password you have an account that way you can comment and say please send me your put me on your email list for when you go live you can go live you can go into their chat you can uh, have chat all the time all the time. Now you may go in there and nobody's in there right then. So come back later and see. You may find five people in there to chat with. And that's why they call it Team Jesus. They're all on the same page. So you could check it out. If you are on my page, if you know what I mean, you, you pretty much agree with what I say. You will pretty much agree with everything they say. And, and I don't know that any of us are ever going to agree with another person 100%. So I'm going to put it, the link to that video in the description box. So that you can check it out if you have not yet. And watch the whole thing. And see if you agree with everything, you know, and how they present themselves and so forth. It's a husband-wife team. And um, they do share other people's prophecies, some of whom I don't believe are getting words from the Lord. But I could be wrong. And I'm wondering if that's why the Lord isn't giving me messages because I've been doubting his messengers. So would you all please pray with me specifically about this I need to hear from the Lord as to why he quit giving me messages or talking to me or even just saying yes daughter do that yes daughter go ahead and buy that dog I prayed about it should I I never felt a yay or a nay I just kept thinking about how much Buddy was such a gift from God and what he did for me. You know, being a companion and even an emotional support animal. If I cried, he would have to get to my face to lick my tears. I didn't teach him that. So when I would pray, I would just think about you know that would come to my mind so I thought okay maybe the Lord's telling me yes get another dog to replace that but I didn't hear like in my mind a message 
Maybe we don't always need a message. But he's clearly showing me, bringing memories to my mind. I know some of you, I know of one of you that gets dreams of things in the past or of people in the past. So it, for each person, it might be for a different reason. Something you have to deal with. So I'm going to pray that the Lord will do the same for you. You seek it. You press in and ask the Lord. Show me, Lord, anything I need to repent of or ask forgiveness for. Repenting is actually turning away from a sin, but... To ask forgiveness or forgive. Is there somebody in my past I never stated I forgive that person? Okay? With that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every single one of you and your devices. And... Your internet connections. Alright. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.